It came into being because I've thought for a very, very long time we should do something about our Dutch and Flemish pictures. I mean, of the 36 works in the exhibition, 29 of them belong to the Vancouver Art Gallery. We had been involved in a very lengthy relationship with the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam, contrasting in some way with things that we have in this collection. Dutch 17th century art is really a very, very unique artistic manifestation in the history of European art. The Netherlands was an exceptionally wealthy place, and this then meant that there was a, there was a big market for art. It was an area where basically, if you had money, if you had succeeded, you could, you could go out and buy a picture. They kept building boats and they, they had no fear of sailing all over the world. They bring porcelain to Europe, they bring a lot of spices to Europe, and these are all things people want, and therefore the influence and importance of that very, very small country is disproportionately large in terms of, in terms of its size. So in this room, uh, what we have is one Dutch 17th century painting by Berendt Graat, which is a family group, and three very, very large scale portraits by Thomas Ruff. In, in the case of the, the Dutch painting, of course, it's someone who's wealthy, uh, can, can, can dress up in deluxe clothing, and has a slightly rebellious son who is, is dressed in, in, in more flamboyant clothes than the rest of the family. It's all about status, it's about the importance of the individual, the, the, the wealth of that individual and so on, the role within society. But in Thomas Roof's case, these are all his friends, and you know, and they're, they're just basically an ordinary Joes like you and me. What makes them exceptional, of course, is the dramatic scale that you see in terms of these giant blow-up heads. I mean, they're essentially like, like, like passport photographs, but they're blown up to this huge scale. Some are photographs, others are paintings. They do share this, this same sense of presenting yourself to the world in whatever way. We use this as an opportunity to show a, a work we'd recently acquired by Liz Magor called Mouthful, which is rather a, a kind of a, a difficult work because it has dead animals in it and you know debris left over from who knows what kind of party or something like this and cigarettes stubbed into coats and so on and so forth. To bring that work in here because I thought it would, it would show the fact that, that, believe it or not, floral still lives can in their own way be edgy. What most people don't understand when you look at a Dutch 17th century picture, what you see in that picture almost never could actually have existed. You will see flowers that bloom at different times of the year and they're all in one bouquet. Well of course in the 17th century you couldn't get that. A single tulip bulb would sell for as much as 4,000 guilders. If you had been, you know, a, a journeyman carpenter or something like this, you'd be lucky if you earned 400 guilders in a year. In the 17th century, it probably would have cost you more money to buy the flowers in the picture than the picture. It's not just a flower. It's, it, it's something about, you know, the extravagance of that individual, it's saying how important that individual is, and also it's, it's hinting at the fact that life is fleeting. We were able to borrow a major painting by Risedale from the Rijksmuseum, and I thought it would make an interesting contrast to the work of Vancouver's Jeff Wall, who does these very large-scale uh, light boxes. What he does is in every single case, they're all scenes of Vancouver or its environs. And he calls attention to those environs in ways that most of us would just walk by. And that's one of the things an artist does, is it causes you to stop and say, oh, well, Let's pay attention to this. There's something worthwhile about this. And that's certainly what was happening in the 17th century in Dutch pictures. In the marine section of the show, the wealth of the Dutch nation was, was founded on its maritime supremacy during that period. They had one of the best military navies and certainly the most important marine fleet in the world. So ships were incredibly important to the Dutch. We we're lucky enough to have a pair of ship portraits by, uh, by Abraham Stork and a very large painting by Willem van der Velde the, the Elder. And we actually commissioned the artists Rhonda Wepler and uh, Trevor Mahofsky to produce a new work for this exhibition. It's called Rosinante, but they've chosen to make the work out of an incredibly unusual material and that's very, very thin fur veneer and epoxy fiberglass resin. So it's essentially something that you would never make a boat of, they've made a boat of. A three-dimensional object versus the, these two-dimensional depictions of three-dimensional objects, that was the kind of a link I wanted to make there. 
Well, indeed, there are many extraordinary contrasts within the, within the exhibition. You're really looking at a lot of things that happened in the 17th century and how some of those things may, you know, continue to have